Uh, if I would have asked them. If we were better leaders, we could have gotten away quicker. Maybe we should go meet some of the best leaders of the past. And maybe this time run a little faster. You know, zombie hating fast food. Come on, let's go. Your puns made a short run seem like forever. I know they're pretty cheesy, but they make me feel great. Let's go talk to Elizabeth Thorne. I hear you over there. Hey. Come on. Why are you burying people? Isn't that kind of counterproductive? During the Civil War, I dug graves for the Union. I'm not going to stop just because I'm a zombie, just like during the Civil War, I didn't stop just because I was a woman. Can you help us find other great leaders? Sure. Here's a map. Follow the map, but where is he? I think that's him over there. Get him a con! <laughs> Could you teach us some leadership skills so we can lead our people? Of course. When my brother wanted war, but I wanted peace, I made the rough decision of eliminating him. I put my people before myself. It was a very hard decision to make. Wow, you seem dead serious about that. Thank you for being such a great leader and good luck with our zombie revolution. But please don't eat us. <laughs> Woo, that was a long run. But I hear a bugle. We must be close. Oh look, it's Sean Cook over there. I don't want to run. You are a brave and courageous leader. Can you give us some advice? Well, from my experience, I learned that you don't always have to start off trying to be a leader. I started off as a simple bugle boy. And I just did what was right at the time. Wow, you seem really dedicated. Thank you for the advice. Bye. Wow, all those people really taught us how to be better leaders. Elizabeth Thorne helped us be uh, persistent. Kitty McCoon helped us be selfless. And John Cook, uh, you mean the bugle boy? Whatever, fine, the bugle boy, helped us be uh, courageous. All these leaders taught us how to be better leaders in different ways. And now we can take a rest. All this zombie nonsense is making me dead tired.